up until two or three years ago, nobody knew what a lipid nanoparticle uh, was, but uh, an amazing proportion of people do now. So it's been quite a ride in the last, uh, in the last year or two, that's for sure. We started off in the late 70s, 80s, trying to deliver cancer drugs. And so we started a company and <clears throat> that was uh, aimed at doing that. We could raise money more easily if we were saying we're doing gene therapy. And so this is where we got into trying to deliver a nucleic acid-based drugs. And, and so that was working quite well. Then we got called up by a um, immunologist at the um, University of Pennsylvania named Drew Weissman saying, well, it's all very well that you're getting these proteins expressed in the liver, that's kind of neat, but do you think they'd work as a, as a vaccine if we injected them intramuscularly? And it turned out that that worked incredibly well. Everything came together and the, the lipid nanoparticle, the delivery system that we developed uh, ended up being incorporated in the Pfizer-BioNTech uh, COVID-19 vaccine, which is now been in six billion or maybe more arms, uh, been one of the most spectacular successes. It's really revolutionizing medicine in many ways. You can design the medicine extremely quickly. The gene therapies really are starting to allow that. The discoveries in the life sciences now are very, very translatable because as soon as you know what protein you want to, you know, that there's a problem with, then you have very quickly an idea how to make how to make a medicine. One thing is that translation part is really an important, you know, a vital thing to do. Clinical pharmacology is to try and get, you know, new therapeutics into the clinic uh, in a safe and effective manner. I think this should be a role of universities uh, is to aid in that translation and particularly aid in the formation of spin-off companies that can really uh, push a, um, a particular idea or a particular therapeutic uh, forward. Universities that really, such as UBC, that really aid in that process uh, will do well. And it also gives, you know, provides jobs for graduates. It, it's, it's a very, can be a very inspiring thing for people to see their career, de career development in a, you know, in a reasonably logical way. The companies that we formed in Vancouver now employ about over 500 people. A large proportion of them, of course, UBC uh, graduates. So the mentorship that I try to give, say, within um, my own lab and um, within the companies, the, the notion that you can do it. It's not just telling people to do or mentoring them, but it's also example. You can actually succeed doing this. And uh, you'll then say, hmm, that's it. if he can do it, then maybe I can do it. <laughs> so.